In this video, I'm going to show you how about late passes. Now, one of the neat things in this system is um, I'm able to give you a certain amount of free passes, meaning life happens, I get it, you don't have to ask me for permission, you could just use a late pass and get full credit on an assignment. So you will notice if you go to your gradebook, it will tell you how many late passes you have available. And those are for the entire semester, so use them according, sparingly. Now, and there is no credit given at the end. So if you don't use them, it's not like you get any bonus credit or anything like that. So use them if you need them, but save them for the when life happens. Now, how do you use them? I've made a couple assignments past due so you can see what happens. So the first thing here is I have my delete me assignment where I'm going to click into it. You'll see here, I can click in and it says, do you want to use a late pass? Notice I have two options. If I want to do it for credit, I can redeem a late pass. And now I'm in as if um, the, the assignment is just not due. It has extended my due date out five days from when the original due date was. It does not matter if you use it today, tomorrow, or the next day. It still gets extended to the same five days from when the original due date was. So it has been extended. Now you will see, um, whoops, there we go. So you'll see I now can get into it just like normal. All right, I am in, I can do my problem, and I can get full credit. So the answer is one. I, you probably are hoping all your problems are this hard, where they just tell you what the answer is. You will see now I have full credit. There is no reduction in score. That is a teacher option. You can make it so it takes off. Professor Dwork does not. You get full credit when you use a late pass. Now, um, OK. Um, so now, you'll see, what I'm going to do here is go down to uh, 2.1 homework to show you another option. So this one, what happens here, this one is past due as well, so I'm going to click into it, and you'll see I have my choices. Because after homework is due, you can also go into practice mode, but it's going to warn you. You still have the option to use a late pass, so, so it's saying, you know, you're, if you do this, you're not going to be able to use a late pass later, so I'm going to say, okay, I'm sure. Now I'm in practice mode. Notice the top practice mode. I can come in here and do any problem I want um, as, much as many times as I want. I can regen them. I can do whatever I want because this is practice. Notice that it's 999 attempts with 999 retries. It's just for you to come in and work on your own. It does not count. You can still watch the videos and message me and all those kinds of things, but understand it is not for a grade. Now when I return back to section 2.1, you will notice the option to use a late pass has been removed because I see you went in in practice mode. On my teacher side, I can see that as well. Um, so please understand how to use late passes. And if a late pass is not, this link is not there, it means you can't use one on that assignment. So for example, quizzes and tests, you cannot use late passes on. They have to be done by the due date. If there is an issue, that is a personal conversation. I don't want you to be able to extend those things without talking to me first. So that is a personal conversation we'll talk about. So. I hope this helps you understand how to use late passes and um, what their purpose is.